What's up everybody, you're here with Nick from TheGamerAccess.com Today I'm here to speak about PlayStation entering World War 3 with the hackers. So Geo has been attempting to attack the PS3 and break into their hardware and software for a few years now. He has finally accomplished his task. Sony is filing lawsuits against them. The PlayStation Network's randomly crashing. A lot of stuff's going on right now. World War 3 in the making right now between Sony and the hackers. Now, there's a couple things I want to speak about. One, the people that are supporting such a movement. Why? Them having access to the PlayStation Network allows them to, one, crash the network, just like this anonymous hacker is claiming to do. Two, having access to your credit card information. Do you want them having access to your number and making fraudulent purchases with your money? I don't think so. And three, being able to release hacks and exploits to the online servers to where now every game's going to be like Call of Duty and your games are going to be uneven because there's going to be people glitching out of the game, cheating, lag switches, all of that. I don't think any of us want that to happen. Also, the idea of piracy. We complain about games being $60 a piece. Well, guess what? Piracy is not going to drop the price of games. It's only going to raise the price of the games. These companies spend millions of dollars for these AAA titles. And then to have millions of copies just to be downloaded freely and not have any revenue come in from it, how do they make up for that? They jack up the price of the games so the people that actually do purchase the games and support the companies end up having to pay for it. So why support such a movement? You're like, oh, we need our freedom, stuff like that. It's Sony's hardware, Sony's software. Put yourself in their shoes. If you had hardware and software, you were making money on it, and then someone hacked it, reducing your profits, are you just going to sit there and be like, oh, it's fine. Just let, it, just let them pirate. You're not. Not if you want your company to stay in business anyways. That's all Sony's doing is trying to protect themselves. That's why they have all these big lawyers being involved. They have all these defense teams. They're hiring up an army to fight these hackers. Who wins? Who knows? Hopefully Sony wins in this situation. I don't care what company it was. I don't care if it's Microsoft, Nintendo. Any company out there that has people hacking and trying to steal from their revenue deserves to win. The hackers do deserve to be locked up. Because they're stealing potentially millions of dollars from these companies that they're working hard for. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that hacking these consoles is right? I mean, you guys love playing console games, right? You don't want the price to continuously go up to an unreachable price, do you? Hacking can cause all of that. Look at PC gaming. PC gaming is far from dead. Compared to how it was before, though, nowhere it used to be. People and companies aren't developing on the PC because of how easy it is to pirate games. Look at the PSP. Pirating got so out of control on that platform that most companies don't even bother porting a game to it anymore. Because, oh, we're just going to have games pirated. Same situation can happen here. What do you guys think? Do you agree with what these hackers are doing? Do you agree with what Sony's doing just by protecting their company? Let me know in the comment section of where do you see this whole battle between Sony and the hackers going because it's getting pretty intense. Let me know in the comment section. You can also contact me at admin at thegameraccess.com. Be sure to visit thegameraccess.com for your gaming news and content. Thank you guys for watching. Keep gaming and support the companies. Peace. Access granted.